Hey Internet, it's Colorful Arnie, and back for more Spy Fox and Dry Cereal. So, in the last episode, we got a couple of notes to ask around, as well as, well, faint of chicken knuckles, which apparently are disgusting, but I don't know, they mm, don't look too bad. Chicken knuckles. Hey, Quack, want some? That's not going to do me any Alright, fine. I've just got to get on that ship. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go to the cantina. Hey B, do you know about this guy? What's with the weasel over by the SS Deadweight? He won't let me go to the deck party. Oh honey, you won't get in the door without an exclusive invitation. Funny though, the rabbit out at the souvenir stand always gets invited to those swank parties. <laughs> oh really? I'll remember that. Really? Gilbert gets I like asked? Man, he's got the connections. What do you know about Captain Drydock and his lucky charm? Oh, that was a night to remember. Elaborate, please. Captain Drydock dared to play go fish with Mr. Big Pig. It's ugly when egos get crushed over a game of go fish. Captain <laughs> Drydock hasn't shown his face in here since. I see. Drydock lost the charm in a game of go fish. Ooh. Very interesting. Hey, Johnny. I don't imagine that weasel of a doorman shows his face around here. Oh, no way, man. Not a uh-uh. Sorry. Bye-bye. That guy will treat you like a king if you have an invitation. Otherwise, you may as well be a piece of dry toast. Dry toast. Okay, then. Hmm. Do you know anything about Captain Drydock losing his lucky charm? It was high drama here at the cantina. So you were here the night Drydock lost the lucky charm. Oh yeah. Altercations with Mr. Big Pig tend to change the mood around this place, if you know what I mean. I imagine. Well, we'll check out Mr. Big Pig later. In the meantime, apparently the rabbit has an invitation. Let's ask him about that. I noticed that there was a party going on down on that big ship at the docks. But I understand you can only go if you were invited. That is true. In fact, I am going as soon as I get off work. Oh, so you got an invitation. I certainly did. It is really a fancy schmancy one, too. Would you like to look at it? Why, yes. I would love to look at it. Well, well. I'm sure you'll have a good time at the deck party. Yes, I intend to trip the lights fantastic on the dance floor. <laughs> Do you think it would be okay if I borrowed your invitation? Of course not. This was sent to me, and me alone. I'm so impressed that you got an invitation to this fancy deck party. Will you be wearing your tuxedo? No. I have chosen one of my finest all-cotton t-shirts to wear. One that will show off my impressive pectoral muscles. I'm sure. <laughs> This guy is a riot. Do you think it would be okay if I borrowed your invitation? Spy Fox, I think you know the answer to that. Would you consider selling me your invitation? Of course not. This was sent <laughs> to me and me alone. Huh, well, we've got the spy putty, so we can try copying it. I can't copy the invitation while he's looking right at me, so maybe I can do something to distract him. <laughs> and this is where... You try to buy something. I really want to buy that fish. Okay, I'll try to get it down again. But I'm telling you right now, I'm not going to enjoy it. Ah! 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 ah. Booyah! Oh, forget it. I just remembered, I cannot sell you that particular fish. My Uncle Ian is having it for lunch. That's also one of my favorite lines in the game. Well, now that we've got our invitation, let's go to the deck party, shall we? Will you be That's surprised? Not going nope. to do me any good. No, no, I want the invitation, please. Not you again! How many times do I have to tell you? This is a private party, and without an invitation, you are not allowed to go on board! Sheesh! A nerve of something. You think they would. Yay! Let me see that. Signed, Russian Blue. Yeah. Oh, sir. 
We are ever so honored to have you on board with us today. Please, feel free to come and go as you wish. Why, thank you. How gracious of you. What a weasel. <laughs> I trust you will have an enjoyable visit. And if there is any way in which I can kiss up some more, sir, I trust you will let me know. But of course. <laughs> well, now he's very accommodating. Now, this is the deck party. Before I join the festivities, I should let Monkey Penny know I'm here. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Hi, Spy Fox. How's the mission progressing? I just made it onto the SS Deadweight. I'm going to take a look around. Good. Keep your eyes peeled for clues as to where William the Kid's secret fortress is. If Kid's fortress is so secret, how come we know about it? We're spies, Spy Fox. It's our job to know. And we are good at our jobs. Spy Fox out. Oh yeah. So, there are actually quite a few guests here, and unfortunately we can't really interact with most of them. Hey, dude. Do conductors have a favorite vegetable? Well, I've always liked a good beat. Wow. Have you ever thought of recording an album? Yes. I'm in the final stages of negotiation with a major label to record a collection of Wagtime songs. It's just a matter of days until we wet the papers. Oh my gosh. I have to say, you certainly have a unique conducting style. Thank you, sir. It runs in my family. My father was a train conductor. Now, if you don't mind, I'm a very busy. <laughs> it's true, Spy Fox. You really shouldn't be talking to a conductor while they're conducting. Pardon me. Do you have the time? Certainly, sir. It's a one, two, three, a one, two, three, a one, two, three. <laughs> I was wondering if you were classically trained. Yes, while other dogs were at the obedience school, I was at the music conservatory. They learned how to roll over and play dead. I learned how to roll over and play Beethoven. <laughs> this guy's Hello, funny. Hello, I want to compliment you on your band. You sure know how to liven up a party. You play with such appassionato. Thank you, sir. It's always nice when one of the guests is a fellow music lover. I hope you will enjoy the party. Well, that's very nice of you. Yeah, we can interact with most of these guys, which is unfortunate, to say the least. Hello, miss. Hello. You must be... A Russian guru. Noted the socialite and attractive owner of the SS Deadway. The name's Fox. Spy Fox. What sort of business are you in, if I may ask? Oh, you know the fox you. As if I'd reveal my business secrets to you. Secrets, eh? You're very elusive, Miss Blue. Of course I'm elusive. I'm a shrewd business feline. Let's just say my business is international free. Okay, but you ah. stirred my curiosity. What sort of cargo does the SS Deadweight carry? That's for me to know, Mr. Fox. As you can see, the SS Deadweight is a luxury liner. Let me luxuriate in peace. I understand. Very interesting. I can gather information about Russian Blue with this. Do you say anything else? Do you play an instrument? Oh, I've been known to pick up a trumpet every now and then. But then, inevitably, someone always asks me to set it down again. Oh. You seem to have a gift for rhythm. You seem to have a gift for interrupting. <laughs> Snap! <laughs> Do you play an instrument? Oh, I've been known to pick... Hey, dude, what do you know about Russian Blue? Tell me about Russian Blue, Maestro. She throws a party like none other. But it's strange when she rushes everyone off the ship so quickly. What do you mean? I never ask questions. I have a feeling she takes the SS Deadweight out to sea during the night. I see. Thank you, sir. Ooh. Interesting. What do you know about the Lucky Charm? Captain Drydock is quite upset about having lost that Lucky Charm of his. These things happen when one tempts fate. What do you mean by tempting fate? I mean that only a fool would enter into a deal with Mr. Big Pig, the local mud baron, even if it appears to be a friendly game of go fish. Oh, I see the local mud baron has a real reputation in these parts. Oh, you know it, Fox. 
Russian Blue, do you know anything about Poor that? Poor Captain Drydock is distressed about having lost that lucky charm of his. Pshaw, that's what he gets for crossing paths with Mr. Big Pig. What do you mean? I mean that the cantina isn't all fun and games, though it may appear so. Ooh. Mr. Big Pig sounds a little sinister. Tell me about yourself, Ms. Blue. What sort of business are you in? Do you carry cargo on the SS Deadweight? Oh, you nosy fox, you. That's for me to know. You're so elusive, Ms. Blue. It's not a matter of being elusive, Mr. Fox. The SS Deadweight is heavily guarded. These questions will get you nowhere. All right, she's some, certainly got something to hide. Let's check out the interior. This is interesting. There's a turkey dinner in there. And now Christmas presents. And shaving cream with baseball stuff. Mmm, pie. And that one is a frog suit. Ideal for any amphibious occasion. A frog suit like this might come in handy, especially considering the worldwide dairy crisis at hand. Yeah, that's a weird item. We actually are going to need to use it later. And this is the timekeeper, basically. It'll say what time it is. I believe it actually currently is 11.01. Yep. It actually does use your computer's clock to calculate the correct time. And that's the date, and we'll need to remember that. That is not the date of this recording, believe me. Swanky. Oh, actually, I should ask more people about Russian Blue. Oh, hang on a second. I didn't even go up to this part. Hey, dude. Pardon me. I'm looking for the restroom. This is the bridge. The head's down below. Actually, I need to go pretty bad, too. But of course, I'm not allowed to leave my post. The shift's over at one whistle, a horse whinny, and a toaster. Then my replacement shows up. Oh, well, hang on tight. I'm sure your relief will come soon, one way or another. Yeah. I can gather information about the Sailor Watchman on the SS Deadweight with this. So tell me a little bit about yourself, man. Tell me about yourself. Huh? You're creepy. I'm just a <laughs> sailor, guarding some charts. When I'm not here, I'm in the cantina. <laughs> Let's take a look at some of this stuff. Yeah, you're not gonna sneak by a chameleon, dude. Hey, that's confidential. You're not supposed to be looking at that. Oh, of course. I'm sorry. I would never dream of doing anything like spying. <laughs> Didn't you introduce sure yourself as Spy Fox? So I could get out of here. I should have never drunk those 17 bottles of prune pop. Yeah, that that is a terrible idea. Ah. So, at one whistle, a horse whinny and a toaster, you're free to leave. Yup, that's the plan, anyway. So, do you have any idea how long it is until one whistle, a horse whinny, and a toaster? No, they don't let us wear watches. At least, not until retirement. <laughs> that seems like a weird rule. What time does your shift end? I'm off at one whistle, a horse... Have you heard anything about Captain Drydock and his missing lucky charm? You mean that peg-legged raccoon who's all talk? I was at the cantina on that fateful night. Oh, really? Yeah. Dry Dock's a sucker for a game of go fish. It's a crying shame, it is. Hmm. I hate to disturb your work, but what can you tell me about Russian Blue? Russian Blue is my boss. I'm employed as a guard. Why? Oh, just curious. Yeah, he's not very helpful in terms of information. Let's ask some other people about him. Russian Blue? What's with that guy on the bridge? Why is he so serious about guarding the SS Deadweight? Darling Fox, maybe you don't understand that I am an international business feline. My deals are not always made, shall we say, in a single location. 
I see. The SS Deadweight makes clandestine journeys from the island. Very interesting. I never said that. Regardless of whether or not it's true. <laughs> hey, I'd love to buy you. Do me any good. I, I wanted to buy her dinner, but alright. Nope, that's the wrong one. Hey, Maestro, play me some Beethoven. Not going to okay, do me any good. nope. What's with that sailor on the bridge? Why is he so serious about guarding the SS Deadweight? He's a strange lad, all right. He only seems to care about making it to happy hour on time. He makes me nervous. Why Whoa, the hippo just I ate something. I thought he was going to bite my head off once when I tried to look at the maps on the bridge. It's top secret stuff, you know. Well, thank you, maestro. Ooh, I love this catchy music. What do you know about the sailor up on the SS Deadweight Bridge? All I know is that he dashes off the ship as soon as his shift ends. I've heard him muttering about happy hour. Happy hour at the cantina, no doubt. Oh yeah, you know it. What do you know about Ms. Russian Blue, if I may ask? We maintain a strictly professional relationship. She's my employer, you see? Yes, I realize that. Are you involved in her business dealings? Only in the sense that, by being a doorman, I know who's who. Well, that's true. It seems like he's getting a little more polite since, uh, apparently now he knows, oh, he, that he actually is special. He has an invitation. What do you know about Russian Blue, owner and operator of the opulent SS Deadweight? Ah, yes, I believe she has associations with Nectar Alpha Goats. Just as I suspected. Why does that guy talk so weird? What do you It's know like they about recorded the each of his lines, in, uh, each of his words SS individually. Deadweight. He's our first snickety one, all right. I recall seeing him in the cantina. Ugh! The cantina, the horror of the cantina. I didn't realize you're so touchy. Hey, Gilbert. I hope you don't mind. I used your invitation to get into the party can... without you, and now you won't be able to get in. What do you know about Russian Blue? Oh, she's upper crust. Very classy. On the surface, at least. I suspect she's in cahoots with William the Kid, but who am I to say? Interesting insight. <laughs> that rabbit's pretty smart. Do you know anything about that sailor on the bridge of the SS Deadweight? He guards that place as if his life depends on it. Oh, that guy's a weird one, all right. He's a regular at the cantina's happy hour. Hmm. All right, that's probably all the information we're gonna get. We should at least ask the people down here. I just want to know. I met a sailor on the bridge of the SS Deadweight, and he seemed to be guarding something. Do you know anything about him? Dang nabbit, Mr. Fox! I'm trying to regain my composure here! Do you mean the <laughs> fellow who's always at happy hour? Quite possibly. Happy hour at the cantina. Interesting tidbit. Why would people go there? The food's disgusting. Maybe the drinks are good? What do you know about Russian Blue, Mr. Utterly? You mean that fruity drink they serve at the cantina? <laughs> Can't stand it. It curdles my stomachs, if you must know. Never mind, Mr. Ew. Utterly. Hey, does anybody have an idea where a cow- I didn't, um, okay. I did not want to click on him. I met a rather interesting sailor on the bridge of the SS Deadway. Do you know anything about him? Primary, five blocks. You know I don't get out much. Have you heard of Russian Blue, Professor Quack? Huh? Do you mean that fancy drink they serve at the canteen? <laughs> yep, I've had one. Thanks anyway. I'll let you get back to your gadget. All right. What's with this character up on the bridge of the SS Deadweight? What's he guarding, anyway? He's probably another island thug guarding something suspicious. I suggest you try to get a closer look. All right. I, I'll keep my... So everyone says, go to the cantina. Fine, we'll go to the cantina. Hey, B, I'd like a Russian blue. Tell me about a Russian blue and her cronies. Her ship, the SS Deadweight. 
certainly make some mysterious trips to see. Oh, really, B? Yes, siree. In the dead of night. Very interesting. Man, B's up on all the vocal gossip. <laughs> Do you know the sailor from the SS Deadweight? Sure. I know the face. He's no ball of fire on the dance floor. Ask B, the unofficial island of Acidophilus gossip. She'll know more about <laughs> What did him. I say? Okay, I'll do that. Hey, Johnny Gecko, get me Russian Blue. Shaking that stirred. What can you tell me about Russian Blue? She's a shady, shady lady. What do you mean? In the dark of night, she sets off to sea on the SS Dead Weight. That's what all everybody says. Hey, B, tell me about this dude. What do you know about this sailor from the SS Deadweight? Oh, that Sal comes in every day straight from work. What time is that? He shows up here 31 minutes after the start of happy hour. Okay. So happy hour, you can see, starts at 4. So, 4.31. That's when his shift is over. Interesting. This seems to be some sort of a high-tech alarm clock. This could be helpful. After all, they say timing is everything. Oh-ho. Uh -huh. Four thirty-one and shift change. That's it. That's the sound the sailor told me indicates the end of his shift. I always wonder what algorithm they use to, to determine what sound you play at what time. And now, we use the sailor hat. Okay, you can go now. Thank you. Out of my way. Coming through. When you gotta go, you gotta go. True dat. Uh, now we can look at this. That's curious. The SS Deadweight made an unscheduled stop out in the middle of the ocean. This particular spot could require some further investigation. Let's see. It looks like the SS Deadweight went to 20 degrees latitude, 5 degrees longitude. So remember that spot, because we're going to have to go there later on. And that's all the time we have for this episode. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie, and if you tune in next time, we're going to play some Go Fish. Have a great day, and God bless.